And you're saying that she paid you cash to reimburse you for all of that. She did. And she paid you cash for both of your portions or just hers? Both. Okay, so that trip, Belize, just Belize. She paid you for everything on Belize. The entire trip. Okay. So the food, tattoo parlor, all that stuff, she paid for. I'm going to... I'm sorry, did you the question? There was no, there, there was no tattoo parlor in Belize. The charges, there's a, there's a tattoo parlor on the charges. I, I'm not getting into what it was for. I'm just asking if everything that's on that card related to Belize, she paid you back for. She paid for you, ma'am. Okay. Um, let's talk about California in May 2023. You all went to California together. Yes. And you booked plane tickets. Yes. And her name was on those plane tickets. They were. And so I know you said that you were worried about security and things like that, but that was in her name. When she traveled, she had to use her name. Oh, so the, the plane tickets? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you paid for those plane tickets and you paid for a hotel. So, again, the, the, the card, yes. You used your credit card, and I'm not asking about after what happened. I'm asking, did you use your credit card to book your flight and hotel to California? I did. And... Um, there's a lot of Ubers on there as well for California. Did you pay for those Ubers as well? Yes. Did we were in Napa. And you're saying that Miss Willis, are you saying that Miss Willis paid you back for that? Yes. Did she pay for the entire trip or did she pay for her half of the trip? The, the Napa trip? Mm -hmm. She paid for the excursions. So the, the, it, the expenses sort of balanced out. I mean, there was never, let me be clear, there was never a time when I would say, hey, I bought dinner. Dinner cost $25. You need to give me $25. Okay. If, if you've ever spent any time with Miss Willis, you understand that she's a very independent, proud woman. I'd object. So she's going to... Oh. I'm overall, Mr. White. So she's going to oh. insist that she carries her own weight. And it, it, it actually was a point of contention between the two of us. She is going to pay her own way. So let me re-ask the question to make sure that you answer it. A California trip that you paid for, saying that she did not pay you back for cash. Instead, she paid for excursions, and you believe that was roughly half. Now she gave me some cash, yes. She but gave what me I'm some saying cash. is the, the ex everything that we did when we got into Napa, mm -hmm. she paid for. The trip that she booked on her credit card in Miami, did you pay her cash back for your half of that? No. So you never paid no. her back for the ticket she bought for you? No, no. I would say I did pay her back because there were times when I would pay for dinner. Okay. She would pay for dinner. It would balance out. But in a relationship, ma'am, you don't, particularly men, um, we don't go asking back for anything. So you're not keeping a ledger of things that you pay for versus the thing that she's paid for, um, which is why I said that it, it was a point of contention because she was very emphatic and adamant about this independent, strong woman thing. So she demanded that she pay her own way. Um, but she's the district attorney of Fulton County, and she has to file financial disclosures disclosing any gifts with anybody that she does business with in Fulton County, correct? Uh, I, I'm, I don't know. Okay. Um, let's talk about Tennessee. You booked a cabin in August 2023 and paid for a cabin in Tennessee. That's when you paid for it. I don't know when the trip was. Can you tell us about that? August of 2023? Mm-hmm. You booked a trip for $1,481.54. Are you, are you asking me, did I take that trip with Miss Willis, or well, are you asking me? First, I was just asking you to acknowledge that that is correct from the records, that you oh. paid for a cabin in Tennessee. Do you recall, and hopefully you can do it from your memory, do you recall paying for a cabin six months ago, $1,400.81 in Tennessee? Where, 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 where are we now? What page is that? I'm just asking from your memory. Do you remember paying for a cabin in August? Not if the if somebody asked about a particular transaction. You can, you can answer whether he remembers or not. 
I don't re- Mr. Wade, I'm, I'm not asking you to go through a thousand pages of records. I'm asking if you remember paying for a cabin six months ago in Tennessee. No. You remember booking a cabin? I booked lots of cabins. Did you go to a cabin with Miss Willis ever? Ever. Ever. No. You've never gone to a cabin with Miss Willis? No. Um, have you ever gone to Tennessee with Miss Willis? Yes. Okay. When was that? That was around 2022, early 2022. Early 2022? Okay. It was a, it was a, a day trip. Um, okay, so you didn't spend a night? Would, so it was a day trip. Okay. We would drive there, have lunch, drive back. Um, the reason we would do that is because the attention, she couldn't get any peace of mind going locally, so we'd get in my car and and drive to some place off the beat path and have lunch and drive back. Is that when you went to Fainting Goat with her? It's in Jasper, Georgia. No, that's that's in Georgia. I don't I don't I don't recall going to Fainting Goat with her. So the Tennessee day trip day trips were not were only Tennessee. Yes. Okay. Did you ever do these day trips in Georgia? Did we drive anywhere in Georgia? Yeah, you were you of were course. talking about day trips yeah, we going drove. out, out, and I'm talking about outside of the metro area. Day trips that you were just talking about. These trips you were talking about. The ones that you were. I'm only asking about the ones you were just talking about. Are all of those in Tennessee? No, we drove to Alabama before. Okay. Back. You drove to Alabama. Mm-hmm. Um, did you go anywhere in Georgia? North Georgia? No, I'm, I'm going to object. If she wants to direct his attention in some way to a time frame or a location, then I think it might be easier for the witness right. to accurately answer. Ms. Merchant, I think if you don't have the specific details yourself, mm-hmm. uh, we need to start getting into specifics or more maybe broadly phrased questions. Um, um, we it, can't just be exploring around indefinitely. Is it is it fair to say that you've taken so many trips with her you don't even really remember all the places you've gone? So many trips? You're having trouble remembering going if you went to North Georgia or not. Were you asking me about specific places? And I, I want to be candid in my responses, so I have to jog my memory because these are places that I have frequented, but not with her. So I want to make certain that if there was ever a time that she accompanied me that I was candid in that response. Okay. Um, Aruba, October 2022. And I've got um, business records to get for these, Judge. It might be a little faster. Um, but did you, did you take a trip with her to Aruba in 2022? Yes, ma'am. So that Aruba trip um, was... So there was a package deal there. We, um, my mother had recently retired, and I decided to take my mother on a cruise. Okay. Um, and the second leg after the cruise concluded, um, D.A. Willis and I went to Aruba. So that was all one one trip, if you will. Okay. So my question was, did you go with D.A. Willis to Aruba in 2022? I did. Thank you. <clears throat> and you paid for that trip using your business credit card, correct? I did. Okay. And you paid for a cruise as well, correct? That, that's the cruise I was referencing with 
D.A. Willis, my mother, and myself. Okay, and because there's two cruises, so let's just talk about the first one. Okay. So the first one was um, you took, that's the one with your mother? Yes. And so you introduced D.A. Willis to your mother that trip. You all took a cruise together, the three of you. Yes. After the cruise was done, you and D.A. Willis flew to Aruba together, and your mom flew home. Yes. And you paid for all of this with your credit card, on your business credit card. I did. And are you saying that Ms. Willis paid you cash back for that? She did. And now, now, but, but l let me make this distinction, though. Um, because the, the number that you're looking at reflects the three people on the cruise ship. There were things that my mother and I did, um, just the two of us, that D.A. Willis didn't, didn't do. And, and, and I'm not attributing that. I did not. My math is not good, but I did not include anything with your mother um, on well, those. Well, I show would, you wouldn't be able to see it because it's not separated out. Um, it, it just shows a charge on the on the uh, on the account when actually it would have been something with my mother and I. Um, Judge, may I approach with exactly. All right, let's time. get a break. We will um, get you back into the courtroom. There, we're watching Ohio. The jury seems to be struggling over one of the charges in that case, and we're expecting testimony to resume in the Adam Montgomery case. We'll take you to New Hampshire when that takes place. Busy day. Stay with us. Uh, we are waiting things to get back underway in New Hampshire for the Montgomery trial. While we wait, we'll head back to Georgia and hear more testimony. In this case involving the Trump election interference case, where the defense says that the DA had an inappropriate relationship with the lead prosecutor, the lead prosecutor now on the stand. Let's pick it up where we left off. I thought 10 was taxes. I'm sorry, 11. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Thank you. And um, these are business records. Judge, they have the certification, so I need to admit them. And then... All right. D uh, defense 11 and 12. Ms. Cross. Based on Ms. Merchant's representation that they are true and accurate as to the certification that was provided to her, um, we have no question. All right. Again, seeing no other objection, they're admitted. Um, so the trip, just the trip to Aruba alone for you and D.A. Willis was $3,835.26, correct? Just Aruba. I'm looking for the, um, the amount. This one is 11. Yes, ma'am. $3,835.26. And then the Royal Caribbean for just you and Miss Willis was $1,269.70, correct? No, ma'am. Your mother's got a different line item on there. I'm talking about the cruise, the actual cruise cabin. I think you need to rephrase that as in the form of a question, Ms. Merchant. Did you pay Royal Caribbean for yours and Miss Willis's cabin $1,269.70? Where are we? Which page? We're on the receipts. There's, there's just a few pages of receipts um, on exhibit number 11. Okay. I'm in 11. Can you direct me to where you are on ele in Exhibit 11? The receipt for Royal Caribbean. So we've got your flights on the one page. I already asked you about Aruba. Um, And just for the record, I blacked out their um, dates of them. And then Royal Caribbean may be on. Oh, it's small. It's hard to read. Um, it's very hard to read. So let me just let me ask it this way then. Do you recall paying around one thousand two hundred sixty-nine dollars and seventy cents for a Royal Caribbean cruise for you and Miss Wallace? You don't remember that? I, that, that? That amount seems kind of small. I, I don't. Okay, so you believe it was higher? Yeah. Okay. 
Um, while you were in Aruba, then you bought a cruise, a Norwegian cruise, right? And that was the New Year's Eve cruise? While I was in Aruba, no, ma'am. Um, the credit card documents that were exi um, admitted earlier show the purchase date when you were in Aruba, but you don't remember doing that in Aruba? I didn't, I didn't purchase a, a cruise while I was in Aruba. That may be when the cruise company decided to run the invoice, but I didn't, I didn't purchase a cruise in Aruba, no man. Around the time you went to Aruba, you purchased a cruise for Norwegian for you and Miss Willis to take for New Year's, correct? Before I went to Aruba, yes, ma'am. And that was roughly $3,387, the cruise to Aruba. I mean, the cruise to, I'm sorry, the, cruise, the, um, the Norwegian cruise. So that cruise was with my sisters. Okay. Um, and the, the number that you are, are seeing would reflect um, my buying dinner for my sisters and their husbands. Or I'm the, just talking about the cruise, the amount that was paid for the cruise ahead of time when you booked the cruise. I'm just talking about that. Okay. okay. That, that was a little over $3,000. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, and I understand you, you're saying you paid for other things, but I'm just talking about the cruise amount. Okay. And you paid for a Jeep and you paid for dinner while you were there in Bahamas. Yes, ma'am. Okay. That's the one that Miss Willis paid for a flight for, correct? That's one of the flights she paid for. Yes, ma'am. Actually, a, a documented paid for, not cash. I'm talking about a non-cash -tra transaction. That's what she paid for. You, you, you mean the one that I provided the, the receipt for? Yes. Yes, ma'am. That's that. Okay. And... Um, so she booked that on her credit card and wasn't worried about, I know you said earlier that you were booking everything because she was worried about people knowing where she was traveling. She didn't have any fears booking that one though, correct? I'm gonna object to the phrasing of that question to speculate as to what was the motivation of the district attorney. If she wants to ask if that was the transaction, then you can respond if that was the transaction. Uh, Ms. Merchant, I think you can rephrase the question, but I'll sustain it on that current phrasing. Um, so she purchased that under her own name, correct? She did. Okay. Um, let's see. So I know we talked a little bit about the seminar where you all met. Um, isn't it true that you would go to Miss Willis's house in South Fulton County I've, I've occasionally? Never, I've never gone to her house in South Fulton County. You've never gone to her house in South I've Fulton County? I've never seen her house. The first time I even heard the address of that house was when um, one of the individuals in the uh, the election fraud case somehow doxed it and it got out. That was the first time I'd even seen that address. Um, but you would go to the East Point condo, correct? What East Point condo? East, East Point, Hapeville, something like that. I've, I've never been to East Point with Miss Willis. You've never gone to you've never gone to a condo in either the East Point or Hapeville area with Miss Willis. Wait, that's different. I have gone to a condo in Hapeville. Okay, so Hapeville. Yes, ma'am. So you have gone to a condo with Miss Willis in Hapeville? I have. Have you spent the night there? Never. Never spent the night there? Never. Is that the condo that was rented by Robin Yerdy? I believe it was. And um, other members of the DA staff were there as well, correct? Sometimes. I, I've, I've never been around other members of the DA staff at a, a condo in Eggville. There's never been any security for Miss Willis? Not around me. Um, did you ever ride with Miss Willis with her security detail to and from the house? No. Um, you served on Miss Willis's transition team, correct? Yes. And you were part of all of her interviews where she interviewed and re-interviewed employees? I would say n probably 98, 99% of them, yes. Um, is it fair to say you took an active... All right, let's get a break. Go back to the courtroom. Uh, when we return, we're also waiting for New Hampshire to reconvene for the afternoon session. Stay with us. Tonight on Closing Arguments, the murder of Harmony Montgomery, diving deeper into the heartbreaking case of a daughter who vanished and the father accused of her murder. Our legal experts break down the evidence and testimony we've seen so far and what's next as this trial moves forward. Plus, was it cold-blooded killing or a police cover-up? 
What we learn from today's hearing in the murder case against Karen Reed. Closing arguments with Vinny Politan tonight at 8, 7 Central, only on Court TV. Back to the courtroom we go. Nathan Wade on the stand in Georgia. Let's watch. Prior to this, you'd never worked at a DA's office, right? Have I ever worked in her DA's office? At no, a DA's office. Any DA's office. No, ma'am. Um, have you ever managed a large law firm or a yeah, large... I'm going to object to the relevance of these questions. Ms. Merchant. He served on her transition team, and so I mean, what we're trying to prove is that there's a personal and financial relationship, and that it was improper. Um, and so, you know, whether or not he had experience to serve on this transition team, I think is relevant. Right. I think I already said that we don't need the evidence okay. hearing on that point. Okay. So it's sustained. Um, Terrence Bradley also received a contract for Fulton County, correct? Correct. You're asking me about Terrence? I asked if Terrence Bradley also received a contract for Fulton County. I believe that he did. Okay. And you were partners with him at that time, correct? I was. So under what you testified to earlier, you would get a third of that contract as well, correct? I would have. And Chris Campbell also had a contract with Fulton County. I believe he did. And so under what you've testified to, you would also get a third of that, correct? I would. Um, they both had contracts for what are called first appearance, which is where they would appear on behalf of the district attorney to do first appearance hearings, correct? I believe they, I believe they did. Okay. And um, they also had what's called a taint contract. Um, they both entered into them January 25th, 2021, correct? Filter, yes, ma'am. Taint or filter? Yes, ma'am. And that was for work in the anti-corruption unit? I don't, I don't know that it was anti-corruption. I, I think that it was uh, civil rights, maybe. Okay. And, and Judge, the, um, the DAs or... Fulton County's come and I guess brought a certificate now, so um, we would move to admit the contracts. I've got those um, under that certificate. I was planning on doing it under the open records officer, but I believe now they've certified it. I just haven't looked at everything they've certified though, so. I'm gonna right. ask that the document be um, looked at and confirmed prior to this time. All right, Ms. Merchant, is there anything else? Uh, what other areas were you planning to cover on? Is direct other than these documents um, I'm planning on introducing all of the contracts and invoices but be, I haven't had a chance to look at what Fulton County certified um, so I'm planning on introducing those and then um, not much can we do the not much mm -hmm. we'll do the not much and then we'll get back to the contracts okay yeah definitely um, okay so this taint taint contract um, and, and we're not admitting these right now but if I represent to you that they say anti-corruption unit um, can you tell us what a taint attorney for an anti-corruption unit would do I didn't have a part in those contracts. Yeah. They were your partners at the time, though, correct? Oh, absolutely. Okay. And so you didn't have a part in those contracts, but you got a third of the contract payment. Oh, absolutely. Okay. So the tank contracts that Bradley and Campbell, who are your law partners at the time, had for doing taint review, you got a third of those? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, you signed a confidentiality agreement with the DA's office as well, correct? I did. And I think I'm up to Judge 13. Mm -hmm. Marking that as number 13. Oh. May I approach, Judge? You're right. Showing you a copy of what I marked as number 13. Uh, if you could take a look at that and tell me if that is the confidentiality agreement that you signed with the district attorney. It is. Okay. And this basically says you can't talk about anything that happens inside the DA's office, right? No. It doesn't say you can't talk about it? No, no, no. You said it basically says that I can't talk about anything that happens inside the DA's office, and that's not what... Are you tendering this exhibit? Yes, I right? am, yes. Um, we would tender 13. Ms. Cross. Is Merchant relevant to this? Judge, it's relevant to his testimony. If he signed an agreement that says he can't talk about things that happen in the district attorney's office, I think that's relevant to, to this. I also think How? That he, because it's motivation in his testimony. I mean, whether or not he's going to testify to something. 
He's also been certified. I mean, it's part of the record as from what Fulton County gave us. Um, sure, but he hasn't said that that's preventing him from testifying in any way today, is it? No, oh, and then I can ask him about that. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Wade, is this confidential agreement affecting your testimony today? No, sir. Okay. All right. That's fine. Um, the contracts judge um, and the invoices that I wanted to admit, I wanted to admit all of his invoices and contracts with um, Fulton County. I have them certified. I, I guess I have them certified through Fulton County, so I wasn't sure if I needed to do that. I just wanted to know if the state had an objection to those before. Well, they haven't had, I don't think they've had a chance to look at them. So is that that's the sole remaining uh, exhibit in line of questioning here? Yes. And in terms of the follow-up questions, would it just be for him to say what's reflected in these documents themselves? If they have an objection to the certificates that Fulton County has given, I would admit them through him because he could recognize right, them. But assuming they're admitted, would there actually be anything substantive he would add other than the documents themselves? No. All right. Okay. So subject to that qualification, do you have any other uh, questions of this witness? Uh, may I just have a moment? Sure. Thank you. Is it possible actually we take a quick break? We're getting there. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I would certainly have the opportunity over lunch to take a look at these documents and work out whatever we could. Um, did you discuss your relationship with Ms. Willis in social settings? Help me understand your question. Did you discuss your relationship with Ms. Willis in social settings? No, I heard the question. I just, I just need to understand what you're asking me. Like, uh, like what, what relationship when... Your personal relationship with Ms. Willis. I'm unqualified, I'm sorry. Did you discuss your personal relationship, your private, personal, romantic relationship with Ms. Willis in social settings? No, ma'am. You've never discussed it in social settings? No, ma'am. Um, did you ever discuss it in front of Robin Yurdy in a non-social setting? No, ma'am. Ms. Ms. Willis is a very, as in my, uh, we're, we're private people, not our relationship wasn't a secret it was just private so n not at all I, I wouldn't have discussed my relationship with, with miss yurdy or anyone else publicly 